What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to the channel. We're back on the couch, and you know what that means. Uh, last time I did something similar to this, we were raving about that Parasite win at the Oscars. Today, we are talking the 2020 Emmys. We've had our awards ceremony. We're going to start out talking about uh, some of the awards that came out prior to tonight, and then by the end of the video, we're talking about the big wins, the big surprises, and uh, some victories that uh, I thought were completely shocking in the best way possible. But I need your comments down below. Were you excited about who was able to win? Was there a snub that you were upset about? This is your place, your discussion for the Emmys in 2020. I won't hit on every single detail, but I'll try to roll through all the winners just so you guys have an idea. Uh, but of course, there are a plethora of articles all across the internet, but we're going to discuss kind of my thoughts going in and let's get right into the first kind of batch of victors. And as always, if you like this kind of awards coverage, you'd like to drop a thumbs up. I appreciate that, but let's get into it. We're going to scroll our way through here, thanks to some articles from Variety and CNN. So, outstanding animated program. Listen, I love Rick and Morty. I'm the world's biggest fan of this show, and the Vat of Acid episode was fantastic. Uh, but man, BoJack Horseman. Just not winning an Emmy. And I believe Will Arnett tweeted this out. It's kind of suiting for the show uh, because of what it deals with. But I was really kind of pulling for BoJack Horseman. Again, Rick and Morty, fantastic. Uh, outstanding casting for a limited series, movie, or special. Watchmen takes that home. Uh, and you can clearly see why with that show. This was awesome. Outstanding guest actor in a comedy series, Eddie Murphy is back. He took home the award uh, as host for Saturday Night Live. I really liked Adam Driver. I, I thought uh, Brad Pitt as Anthony Fauci was great, uh, but seeing Eddie Murphy win that put a huge smile on my face. Uh, exceptional merit in documentary filmmaking. I've heard a lot of great things about The Cave on National Geographic. That's one show that so many people are talking about, so nice to see it there. Uh, Outstanding host for reality or competition program, RuPaul, uh, host of RuPaul's Drag Race. I've heard nothing but great things. I don't really watch reality TV just in general as much. I used to watch American Idol and The Voice, uh, not as much anymore, but that's awesome to see there. Outstanding sound editing for a limited series, movie, or special. These are kind of the awards that I like. The winner there being Watchmen. Man, Watchmen just really kind of dominating that and The Mandalorian, which we'll talk about, just kind of dominating this award show in general. Outstanding makeup, non-prosthetic euphoria, taking home a victory. Variety special, Dave Chappelle, Sticks and Stones. And it's crazy to me because this show was just kind of uh, ridiculed by critics. I wasn't one of those. I actually really enjoyed the special. So I am pretty happy to see Dave Chappelle back again. Uh, Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle, my goodness. Now here's where we start getting into the Mandalorian victories, okay? Outstanding music composition for a series. Ludwig Gorenson uh, for Chapter 8 Redemption. But oh man, his score for the Mandalorian going up against Euphoria and Ozark and Succession. My favorite show on television. There's no denying that Mandalorian score is one of the best on television uh, last year, hopefully this year. Absolutely loved it. Getting back into the acting category, uh, Maya Rudolph, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Her portrayal in Saturday Night Live is absolutely hilarious, and she's actually nominated twice. Also being nominated as the judge in The Good Place, so uh, Maya Rudolph having a year. Unstructured reality program. Cheer on Netflix. Everyone that I have heard, uh, family, friends who has watched this show, uh, they're obsessed with it. They love it so much. So it's really cool to see that bring home a, a victory. This is one I have to highlight. Outstanding children's program. Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Guys, I loved this show. Absolutely loved it. Uh, it was indeed the one I was rooting for. Listen, I'm a huge fan uh, Star, Star Wars, we had Star Wars Resistance on here, uh, but uh, you know me, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of this show if you watched my review. Uh, so outstanding children's program, that is definitely outstanding. Have a couple of directing categories, editing, uh, insecure, guest actor, here we go, uh, in a drama series. I am not as familiar with this as us, so I was going to say John Carl Esposito as Moff Gideon, uh, but that's, you know, this is one that uh, the winner, great can't really comment on it. Um, also, James Cromwell in Succession. That probably would have been my vote. But you have Dave Chappelle, Sticks and Stones winning again. You had directing and writing and 
Uh, it just keeps racking up awards, winning multiple Emmys on Saturday. We're still in the creative section. We're going to keep going uh, with lighting design, Saturday Night Live. A few more in this outstanding television movie section. Uh, my vote, honestly would have possibly been for El Camino just because I'm such a big Breaking Bad fan and what that movie did, but Bad Education is fantastic. I love that Hugh Jackman got involved and, and that entire cast is great and the movie itself just rocks, so so happy to see it get the victory. And while these aren't all of the awards prior to tonight, uh, we do have outstanding guest actress uh, Cherry Jones as Nan Pierce in Succession. Uh, Y'all know me and my love for Succession. I like seeing that. So before we get into tonight's uh, list, I do want to highlight just the Mandalorian in general. Uh, more awards than what we just talked about. The Mandalorian ended up bringing in seven Emmys on 15 nominations uh, for outstanding visual effects, stunt coordination for a drama series, cinematography for a single camera series, half hour, uh, sound editing, uh, outstanding production design for a narrative. I mean, just so many music composition, and we've already talked about that, uh, episode eight, redemption sound mixing. The Mandalorian, man, I, and listen, not everyone is a huge fan of this show. I, I really like it because A, I'm a Star Wars guy, but B, it's kind of bringing fandom back together. But just to see it win seven Emmys, awesome. Love to see it. Uh, it's not my favorite show that we're going to talk about for sure, uh, but it's definitely up there in terms of how much I love it. Cannot wait for the second season. But let's get into tonight's winners. And let's start with outstanding lead actor in a limited series, uh, Mark Ruffalo. With the dual performance, we had Hugh Jackman uh, in there, who was awesome, Jeremy Pope. Um, I was kind of like, okay, could Jeremy Irons kind of swoop in here, but I even said in my prediction vi video, when you have someone who, uh, according on everyone, and I've seen multiple episodes now, I finally got to watch a little bit of it in preparation for this, uh, just nails it. From what I've seen, I think he was worthy. So happy to see Mark Ruffalo bring home that award. Next up, outstanding lead actress in a limited series, uh, Regina King. Watchmen. Again, I think Shira Haas was unbelievable. A lot of people said Kate Blanchett for Mrs. America. Uh, I couldn't really commentate on it because I hadn't seen it, but uh, Regina King, I think swooping in and bringing home a well-deserved victory, she was uh, really, really good. And regardless, I know the show is a bit divisive with some people. I, I thought it was fantastic for what it was going for, for what it was trying to convey, and, and she was a big part of that. So, so happy to see Regina King win there. Uh, moving into supporting actor uh, Yahya Abdul-Mateen. We're going to keep it within the Watchmen territory. Um, it could have been really anyone you see from Watchmen there. A lot of people were saying Jim Parsons, which I, I could have bought that as well. But Yahya Abdul-Mateen, uh, so, so good in this role. An unexpected role uh, when you're watching the show. And I hope you guys who haven't been able to see it, go check it out. But uh, he, he deserved that award. Watchmen, again, just bringing it home. Can't really com comment on uh, Mrs. America. Again, it's not a show that I've seen. And it really could have been anyone here. Uh, Tony Collette was kind of my choice here. But uh, it's just because I had such a love for Unbelievable. Outstanding lead actor in a comedy series. Let's just, uh, let's just give Schitt's Creek its due. We have actor... We have actress. Um, we have supporting actor. I mean, it just rocked the comedy section. I don't even need to go through it because if it's comedy, Schitt's Creek probably won the award. And I say probably, uh, but man, it just... Um, and everyone was saying, Austin, you got to see Schitt's Creek. I, I finally got to watch some episodes just again in preparation for the Emmys. Uh, it, it is really funny, and I heard the, the newest season, um, the final season, uh, spectacular. So cannot wait till more people check this show out because now that it's just this big-time Emmy winner, uh, well-deserved from what I've seen, uh, it's great. But again, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, man, you're, you're beating that show. You must be really funny. You must be really good. Again, supporting actress, it just racked up. And then obviously, when we get down to it, I uh, ended up winning Best Comedy Series as well. Let's get into the drama category, where we did have, you know, a couple of things. Maybe not go Succession's way, but for the most part, lead actor in a drama series. That is Jeremy Strong in Succession. I was honestly a bit torn. I'm like, Jason Bateman's great. But I feel like this season of Ozark wasn't as much Jason Bateman's season. It comes down to Brian Cox or Jeremy Strong, what I believe to be the best show on TV. Now, we're not talking snubs in this video. Obviously, we're a little bit of a lack of better call Saul here, which I was bummed out about, but I chose, uh, I believe I chose Jeremy Strong. Regardless, when you get down to those two guys, it's just like, uh, which child do I love more? 
I don't have kids, but I do have a dog, and I love him. Uh, Jeremy Strong was my choice for that. A lead actress. Now here, <laughs> it didn't all go Succession's way, but I'm so happy. Zendaya won lead actress for Euphoria, a show that didn't even get nominated for Best Drama. Couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Um, did not think she was going to do it. I thought Laura Linney was going to do it. I thought maybe Olivia Colman could do it. And I said in my uh, predictions video, Zendaya, I mean, she deserves it, but I just don't think people are going to give her her due. And they did. And I love it. And I love to see it because one of the best shows. I mean, it's 824. It's a beautiful show to look at, but Zendaya was fantastic. So I love this victory for her. Unexpected. Uh, maybe the most shocking moment of the night other than some really flat jokes during the ceremony. <laughs> Those were unexpected. Uh, but no, Zendaya was great, uh, and I'm so glad that she won that award. Supporting actor. Now, here's, here's a bit of a surprise for me. Kieran Culkin. I thought for sure Kieran Culkin was going to win. I thought for sure. Uh, a lot of people said Jeffrey Wright. I mean, Bradley Whitford was great. Giancarlo Esposito, awesome. But um, Billy Crudup from The Morning Show. And you know what? He was great. I still, I prefer Kieran Culkin here, even though Succession did kind of, I think, they won enough awards, all right? But, uh, man, Billy Crudup coming in with the shocking victory, but uh, you start looking at his performance, I guess it really wasn't that shocking because he was really, really good in the show. Supporting actress, Julia Garner. I mean, she's done it before. She's doing it again. Uh, she was one of my picks here. I had a couple that could have... Is it going to be Sarah Snook from Succession? Is it going to be Danny Newton from Westworld? Uh, it's, it's a very stacked actress category. Julia Garner, again, uh, I think maybe my, my favorite from this uh, entire just uh, group of women that were incredible. She owns this season, maybe even more so than season two. So that's, that's another one that I'm happy about. Uh, reality competition, again, I'm not as familiar, but um, one host... It now won competition series. I mean, I do scroll past the voice every now and then, and I'm shocked because the mass singer, everybody talks about it. I don't watch it, but everybody talks about it. A variety talk series, that is, last week tonight with John Oliver, um, one of the funniest ones out there, and he continues to rack up those awards. Outstanding limited series, just kind of the cherry on top of Watchmen's incredible, incredible night, uh, winning essentially every award. Again, unbelievable, unorthodox. Even little fires everywhere. These are great shows, but um, Watchmen did something. It created this fan base, and it spawned a lot of different opinions, but it also brought relevance to many different things and bringing in what came from the graphic novel and incorporating a lot of really cool characters. So, I, again, I, I loved Watchmen, thoroughly enjoyed it, happy to see it win. Standing comedy series, we talked about it over what we do in the shadows, over Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, over Curb Your Enthusiasm, Schitt's Creek going out with a bang, and then Outstanding Drama Series, the final award of the night, um, as it should be, and that, that's just my opinion, I think Succession is the best. Love Better Call Saul, finally caught up on the new season, it is very close for me. So for me, it would be Succession, then Better Call Saul, um, right there with Ozark, I think those three are kind of the standouts. Personally, personal favorites. Really enjoy Stranger Things, and obviously The Mandalorian uh, was fantastic. There's not a show on here that I wouldn't watch over and over. Huge fan of Handmaid's Tale. Uh, I didn't love the newest season as much, but still a huge fan of that show. So a lot of great competition here, but Succession. Something about what this show does. It's the mixture of style and what season two gave us and all of these different characters. Um, the acting, spectacular. Uh, it's a special show. So if I could do anything <laughs> in this video... It would be A, ask you guys to leave your comments down below and let me know your thoughts on all of these awards. Were you happy? Were you sad? Were uh, some of these completely unexpected like they were for me? Uh, but B, watch Succession. And I'm kind of saying this to myself as well because there are still shows here that I haven't been able to watch because it's really difficult to uh, kind of ingest all of them. Uh, but watch Succession and, and uh, check out some of these other shows that were nominated, and I'll try my best to catch up on the ones that I haven't been able to see. But, man, what a what a crazy year for the Emmys, the, the ceremony itself. So different, not what we're used to, uh, but uh, I appreciate all of your thoughts. And, and you guys just taking time to watch this video, just a bit of a recap. We're talking about the awards. I wanted to give you guys my thoughts. I'm in my living room, living but we'll be back in the studio for my next review. Appreciate it again. If you guys want to subscribe, leave that like, that thumbs up. It really helps out these kinds of videos, uh, and I'll see you soon.